Hello, Jazzcut here. Welcome to Meshing Rooms and Introduction. Before we start, although Blender is used here for illustrative purposes, the topics discussed apply to 3D Studio Max, SketchUp, Maya, as well as other content authoring tools. Some basic knowledge with 2D and 3D software is also useful. With that out of the way, let's take a look at rooms. From the general user's point of view, rooms are places to hang out with others. They are products like clothing or accessories that can be worn or used, although by the world rather than the avatar, and can be customized in a myriad ways using furniture, items designed and built specifically for room decoration, all managed from within the user's inventory. From a creator's point of view, rooms are built using 3D software. Applications like 3D Studio Max, Blender, which are supported, SketchUp and others to limited degrees. For creators, making functional rooms generally requires a mesh or meshes that describe the environment's visuals or theme, the what of the room, and an underlying skeleton that defines the degree of interactivity available to the user, the how of the room's workings. With this in mind, let's take a closer look at a room's makeup. The obvious element of a room is the mesh, or shell, the part that's visible to the user. Generally speaking, there are no limitations on design or what might be represented, subject to the virtual goods policy, but care should be taken to observe how well the eventual scene loads and performs, especially for complex or larger rooms. If meshes describe the appearance of a room, its skeleton defines how it can be used. Here, interaction is determined by the number of seats or pose spots included, the default sitting and standing, or optional custom poses that might align to a particular feature of the mesh. Further interaction and end user customization can be also accommodated using furniture nodes. These can be placed literally anywhere and in any direction but default to floor, wall and ceiling orientated targets to which furniture items attach when the room is being used. Although the mesh describes the room's appearance, lights define the mood. Part of the skeleton, they can be omnidirectional, directional or spot, used to highlight or illuminate the entire scene or specific features within. Ambient lighting too can be used, but this is generally edited in the product editor rather than the 3D application used to build the room. The final customizable element of the skeleton is the camera, which follows the user around the room as they move place to place. Generally, this points to seat 01, the initial spot users load into the room, but can be maneuvered and manipulated thereafter for better views or angles of the scene, its contents or the avatars within, or for taking snapshots therein. To summarize then, in essence, rooms are products just like any other, managed and decorated with items held in the user's inventory. From a creator's perspective, this means rooms need to be built as an avenue of infinite possibilities for the end user to be creative, for their being able to customize their experience without needing extensive 2D or 3D knowledge, if any at all.